A lawsuit was filed today against the drug maker Pfizer. That's the company that makes the now pulled pain reliever Bextra. It was removed from the market last week after it was linked to heart attacks and serious and sometimes fatal skin reactions. Let's talk with Ken Mall. He is the senior partner with the law firm Kenneth Mall and Associates. State the plaintiff's basic claim here, sir. Well, we have five plaintiffs from uh, various states, including one in Illinois, uh, complaining of heart attack pulmonary em embolism and skin reactions. And the claim you're making against Pfizer? Well, we have a, nation a worldwide class action lawsuit against Pfizer for all users of Bextra. Uh, we have them in two different categories, those that suffered serious injuries or died from uh, Bextra. We're seeking compensation for their injuries. The other class of individuals took it uh, and want the funding to, to get medically tested or seek a consultation from a physician to see if they have symptoms that may lead to injuries or death in the future. Now the other products under this COX-2 inhibitor label are uh, Viox and Celebrex. Viox has been pulled by Merck. There's also Celebrex which is still in the market but it has a much sterner warning now required on the label. Um, are you making a, a similar claim against Merck as in this whole case? Well we filed last October a worldwide class action against Merck with respect to their Viox, uh, which was pulled from the market in September. Uh, we represent over 6,000 clients from around the world in 54 different countries. Um, just recently, uh, the FDA panel met in February and said all COX-2 inhibitors unanimously, in unanimous vote, 32 to nothing, can cause serious heart attacks, pulmonary embolism, stroke, and skin reactions. Uh, what is it you're claiming specifically that the companies did or didn't do? Well, they, they knew that this, the COX-2 selective inhibitors could cause heart attacks and serious injuries and fail to warn consumers, which the FDA is now requiring them to do with a black box warning, which is the most severe warning they can give. But I think what's more important was what the FDA did last Thursday. They said all NSAIDs, or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, must contain this black box warning. That includes ibuprofen. Naproxen, Aleve, Advil, Motrin. So it's a, it's a class effect is what they're saying. And you're saying this validates your basic claim? That's correct. All right, Ken Mall, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much.